for two astronauts who have waited months to return home from the International Space Station. It looks like their long stay will be even longer. NASA announcing that a new spacecraft set to retrieve Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore and others will leave no earlier than late March of next year. NBC's Sam Brock has more on what's behind that delay. What was originally supposed to be a week-long test flight Welcome aboard the International Space Station has now evolved into a months-long saga in space. <laughs> Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams lifted off for the International Space Station back in June. And liftoff of Starliner. But when the Boeing Starliner, making its first crewed mission, had a number of technical issues after docking, from helium leaks to faulty thrusters, their return home was delayed. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February. Now, a new galactic speed bump in their return to Earth. NASA saying in a statement Tuesday, NASA SpaceX Crew 10 now is targeting no earlier than late March 2025. Adding, the change gives NASA and SpaceX teams time to complete processing on a new Dragon spacecraft for the mission. That spacecraft set to arrive at a Florida facility in early January. Can you think of other examples of astronauts that had a mission of one to two weeks and that turned into a year or longer? No, I can't think of one that went from two weeks to over a year. They were testing a new vehicle, the Starliner. I think you know, there was always that possibility that they may end up extending their mission. Mike Massimino is a former NASA astronaut who knows both Butch and Sonny. I think mentally prepared to, to do whatever was going to be required of them, and they've been doing that. How frequently yeah. is the ISS restocked? How often do you see supplies going up intermittently? Every, every few months, there's two supply ships that go up from the United States. Back in November, concerns surfaced about the health and potential weight loss of the astronauts. I think there's some rumors around out, outside there that I losing weight and stuff. Though they were quickly dismissed by the two space veterans. Ah, uh, you can tell I've been working out. Now the waiting game continues as a new timeline for their return is set for the new year. Sam Brock reporting there. Officials at NASA did consider using a different capsule, but they prefer for crews to overlap on the International Space Station. They say it makes for a smoother transition.